All right, welcome back. We are doing Aries through Pisces, all signs, love, all that good stuff. Elemental quickies first. Aries, if you are dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Source, what do we have for fire signs today? They don't want to talk. That's why. All right, hangman, hold it back. Why are they holding back? Can be a Pisces as well. Oh, somebody's a little on the shy side. This is somebody that feels a little bit inferior to you. They're a little bit, a lot of bit, a lot of bit intimidated. So it does look like there's somebody interested, but they're holding back a little. They do want to date you. This is definitely new energy with the emperor here, singles. Anything else about this new person? Ooh, they want to cuddle fuck. So this is somebody that has a lot of patience. They're waiting. <laughs> They're really waiting. Can be Sagittarius, Pisces, or an Aries. But this person, you know, they're very soft spoken. They're this is like the bomb person. If they're this patient and this this is the person that has your back and wants to cuddle and stay in and watch Netflix and chill and 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 listen to your day and how it went. That's like the the idealistic person. We like that. Oh, 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 oh nice. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is not the ideal person. So there's been some issues here. They're looking for some resolution. There's been some competitive crap. It's kind of petty crap. Oh, they're holding back too. Okay, so possibly a Leo as well. They want the end of the drama between the two of you. Now, it could have been that they, there was competition. They're moving slow as hell. They think you're not interested anymore. How do you view them? You know, you just want peace. You might have blown them off in the past because of the shit that's been going on, but it does look like you might revisit this. Okay, you got the Ace of Coin also came out, so that's an opportunity. I don't think it's going to be an opportunity. You just, it's like, can we just get over this? You're over the issue, not over them, but they think that you're not interested anymore. So they are holding back. You got an argument that needs to be talked out there. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, hello. Wow, we like this. So you got the page and the ace of cups. Oh my God. You guys, singles, you had definitely have some energy. I don't give a crap what sign it is. I want to get on the same page with you. I, this is messaging, growing feelings. So that's brand new dating again. Wanting to get to know you, actually paying attention to you, and emotions that can grow. Keep in mind that also can be a pregnancy. If we have the star in here or the star in the world, I'd say, yeah, probably uh, chastise yourself for a little while. But this is new energy. Ah, I like it. Very nice. Can be a Libra. Can be a Taurus. Heavily Taurus. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. You got to flirt. Ooh. You got a lot of positive energy here, Aries, especially for singles. Oh, my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. I'd like to get to know you. This is somebody that wants there to be balance between the two of you. It's like if they send you a message, they want one back. It's not like they're going to be, oh my God, it's been five seconds. You haven't messaged me back. Intuitive, open to love. You could meet this person through a friend. This looks really nice. Are you interested? One more. Are you going to be interested? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. You got a counter suit. Oh. It's like the hallelujah course is going off, okay? The universe is smiling heavily on Aries today. That's two people that have very similar traits, very intuitive, think with their head, think with their heart, very caring, where one picks, you know, drops off, the other one picks up. The, oh, my God, you guys, sweet energy. Ooh, ooh, you guys are on fire, fire. We like it. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, Aries, overall energy. Empress, growing emotions, having your shit together, being noticed, fulfillment, abundance, using your natural instincts, really having it going on, okay? Just a reminder that Fridays is mainly singles. So, Source, what is coming towards our singles? In love, singles. Who might be coming your way? King of Wands. Well, hello, lover. 
So somebody that's really outgoing, really sets out to get what they want, and they mean business. Really good looking. This is somebody that gets things done. They got the hotties. So they got the hotties for you, got their eyeball on you. What else? Seven of Swords, but they're holding back. Well, what the hell? We can just ruin it within three seconds. Why are they holding back? Are they holding back? Holding back up, right? Yes. Okay, they are definitely, you got strength too. So that is card of holding back, but there is passion here. Why, why do they feel the need to hold back? It's like almost like they're trying to have enough courage or the willpower to hold back, but why? We want one more for why in the hell are they holding back the chariot? Well, this can be that they actually need to make a physical move. There's a move of some sort. They need to move something forward. It can be a, a relationship that they are still moving out of. One more for the chariot, please. Can be a cancer. King of coins. Yeah, I think this person's leaving a different... The king of coins often is somebody that's in another relationship. <clears throat> so it does look like they are in the process of ending one relationship. Their intention source... Ten of, <laughs> Ten of Cups. They want to be happy. So they hadn't been, and this is, you got the high priest at the bottom of the deck. They're not letting on to, because they don't want to get, they don't want to end up having this person say, you left me for Aries, you know, this kind of feeling. They don't want to end up with any crap. See what's peeking out here? Three of Wands, something that does move forward, but there's a wait. There is going to be a waiting period. It's waiting for the ships to come in. So it's probably going to be, you know, we're going to flip a card for time, but it's probably going to take a little time until this person's out of the connection they're in. I feel like it's a, you know, move into a different apartment, separation type thing. Page of Swords, yes, but they're watching you right now. They've got their eye on you now. So it can be somebody with the King of Wands that you know from work. The Empress, the overall, they think you you know have everything that they're lacking with the current connection right now. I don't feel like that Seven of Swords is lying or cheating and schmucking around at all. So their intentions seem good. Will you be interested? Six of Wands, hell yeah you are. You're like, woohoo, bring it on. It's like getting attention where you hadn't been before. So if you're absolutely single, it's like all of a sudden you get all this attention. You get the butterflies in your belly and it makes you feel very confident. And this is, it's good news. It makes you feel good. Okay. <laughs> but right now, it's not right now. See, we got a clarifier here. Just a cut. Four of coins. Got to wait a little bit. Got to wait. Got to wait. Ooh, what's in the box? Open the box. Amazon came. All right. So you will be interested. How does this move forward? Oh, hell yeah. This is using your intuition. This is being more open to something with your heart. So this is somebody that's definitely going to be able to show you generosity when it comes to emotions. The huggy, touchy-feely type person. Page of Cups with the cut of the deck. Coming at you small initially, but this is how it's going to make you feel. How you're going to feel. How they come at you. The page of cups. Small. You know, it's got to start small. You don't want to have gung ho and you have this crazy person called uh, Walter at Cricket where you think that they're insane hitting on you in front of your fiance. It's really not so good. No. Mm -mm. But look at this. The outcome. Justice. Balance. This is somebody that definitely has their shit going, going on for them. And look at that. And you got the two of cups right underneath of that. This is very nice flow. All right. Let's get a timing for singles. And then we'll try and see. Timing. Single source. Okay. You got five to six months. All right. Those that want their person back. Is that person thinking, thinking, thinking? All right. This is a return, potentially, that could go well. Seven of coins. They are, actually, but they're not, not, they're not open to it yet. So still thinking about it. Right now, their thoughts are, I want to return. I want things to go better. We should be getting along better. What do I need to do to make this work? Okay. Their actual feelings... Nine of Cups. 
They want to be content. They want to be happy. But it is selfish energy. It's for themselves. So they're trying to figure out what makes them happy. They're trying to deep down think. But then you got, okay, their feelings. Ace of coin. Wanting to be successful. So this person could have felt, bottom of the deck, you got the nine of swords. Inept. But they're all up in their head about this. It's like, I want to be happy. I want to be content. I want to be successful. Kind of holding back on their emotions right now. Not talking about it. So you could be in a timeout where there's like no speak -o, But they're really thinking about it. Okay. A lot of anxiety here. They do have feelings for you. You are contentment to them. Do they reach out? Eventually, does this person reach out? Two of Wands. Yeah, they're going to reach out. That's interest right there. But you got to be able to get on the same page. You got the Three of Coins reversed. And then you got the Nine of Coins. So it's like, you you probably, here's what's going to happen. You're going to just finally give up and think, I'm single. <laughs> That's it. This person's never coming back. Uh, you know, taking care of your own resources, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids, whatever you need to do. Having it all going on, changing your looks, whatever the case may be. And this is what happens. They come in and you go, oh, I didn't know. Let's put the past behind us. I want to put the past behind us. I can't stop thinking about you. Let's try to make this even. So, yes, a reconciliation does look good. Singles you have. Let's see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, heavy, Libra, heavy. Very nice energy, guys. Libra and Taurus, very heavy. Let's see what else we have. Four majors. Very, very, very nice energy. And we'll get it. Let's do a timing card. Let's get some of these out of the way. When might we hear from the person? For those that want the person back. You have three to four months. Okay. So it's still going to be a little bit. Maybe for the new year. Something like that. All right. Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Leo. Quite heavy. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got for you guys. Move this out of the way. This is the fountain deck, by the way. Some guys, uh, some uh, they're kind of a lady or two or three people that like to know the name of the deck. All right. Uh, Answer for your question. You got a fuck me. no. Or, you know, depends on how you, you stay on the positive side of life. Fuck on! All right, Aries, that's what we have for you now, and we go. All right, Tauruses, ole, ole, ole. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with the element of fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Right up against me, what do we got? The hanged man. What are they waiting for? Hold them back. Oh, they got a crush on you. Okay, so this is somebody that's waiting... They got a crushy. They're really interested, but they want to know if you're over your ex, okay? They want to know if you're still missing your ex. They want to know if you're interested at all because they have interest in you. Now, this also can be your ex wondering if you would take them back because they miss you. So it can go either way. It can go singles or wanting person back. But still curious, still curious. Are you over your ex? Are you available? Are you open to this? I've really rethought this. I don't want you, ooh, cut of the deck. Can be a Taurus, but this is basically saying somebody that sees you as a decent person, wants to be around you. Can Now, this can be recommitting, but it can be um, committing to dating because we're going to keep it simple when we actually come to a new person, but also can be a Pisces, okay? All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Libra. Okay, getting together, having a party. Can be a reconciliation. What else? Groups of people can be, ooh, manifestation. Initiating contact. So this, if you're single, this is somebody coming up to you. Hi, how you doing? It's amongst um, people and wanting to get it on. This is like, hey, can I have your number? Hey, I'd like to get to know you. And really being, I want to say pushy, but very interested. Very, very curious to get past your walls if you have any up. A bottom of the deck, they're really interested. You have the ace of wands. So, yeah, they want to get busy with you in the sheets too. But this is definitely somebody that feels and hopes that the feeling's mutual. This can be a reconciliation. Yes, okay. It can be, let's just get drunk and screw. 
and move back together and try to work on the communication because that is also movement and direction of working things too. Okay, dokie. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces source. Strength reversed. All right, why is this person kind of irritated? Be irritated, bossy, up for a fight. They want more recognition. Why do they feel this way? Oh, they want to screw you too. Okay, so this person wants your attention but doesn't feel like they're getting it. They could be feeling like they've waited too long. They definitely have interest in you. How do you view them? Oh, cut out the deck again. You got the hair font. That's crazy. Let's just get one more. One more how they how you view them. Slow and methodical and a planner and somebody reliable. Slow and is a good thing in the I mean you don't you don't want them coming in trying to rip your pants off on the first date. That's not really very proper. No, it's really not. The the, the Queen of Cups. Every once in a while it can be fun, but we're not, you know, that age anymore. We aren't here anyway. But the Queen of Cups can be very particular <laughs> with not wanting her so panties just crazy. ripped off. Hey, 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 Wookie, behave. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, not much talking going here. What are they trying to hold on to? Workity, workity, work. New chapter. Heavy on the earth here. Ooh, done. So they're holding back. I feel like they're just working on their life. They're just working on themselves. One more. Really, really guarded. This is somebody that just feels like they need to drop this right now. They can't deal with it. So holding back, try, they can be burying themselves in work, but right now, just just not open to anything. All right, let's get a fresh deck for Tauruses. All right, Tauruses, just a reminder that Fridays is mostly singles, okay? So mostly singles, not completely. We will do those in disconnection too. So your overall energy is the moon. This is kind of the feeling of when the fuck is this coming? Okay. Feels like it's been forever. Feeling like wh when, when, when. Um, uncertainty. Uncertainty about when you're going to meet a new person. Bottom, you know, bottom right underneath of that, the king of wands. So it does feel like some passion is coming. So source. What is coming towards our single Tauruses in love? Single. Okay. What do we got? Two of Wands. Ooh. Could be a choice that you need to make. But that also is having the Roman eye. So that's what I mean by two choices. There might be more than one option for you. It also can be very mutual sexual attraction to specifically one person. Tell us more. I mean, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then with the moon, Pisces. Five of Cups. You got to drop that shit first. Okay, if you want to be able to move forward, you have to stop thinking about your ex. If you're not thinking about your ex, disregard that. But this is a feeling of still missing your, your person. Person that you have been with last. Replaying the events over and over in your head, missing somebody, remorse, kind of disappointed. You can be generally disappointed in love when this comes around. What else? Who? Give us a who. What element might we be dealing with? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What will this person's intention be towards my single Tauruses? All right. I'm sorry, but this is really you trying to put the past behind you so that you can move forward, okay? You got possibly a Libra coming in your direction with justice. Mm -hmm. So we'll pull that out. But this is you really having a hard time, guys. I'm sorry. Ace of Swords, you want somebody... It's almost like you're being very, very specific with the universe going, I want somebody that's available. They're not hiding any fucking other person. That they're, you know, not stuck on their ex and that they financially have their shit together with the nine of coins here. Yeah, it's really saying I'm leaving that kind of crap behind me. Being very clear with your intention. Tell us more about this potential Taurus for the Capricorn Libra. It's really wanting balance. Tell us more, Source. A single person coming towards our singles. Temperance. All right, that's like patience paying off.
Can be a Sagittarius coming your way. That's like a cuddle bug, somebody that likes to stay in. They have a very soft disposition, but it's moderation. So it's something that takes time, but it's also um, a new connection and it's your healing. So it can mean that you, you know, you're taking your time to heal, but look, look at this. Ooh, the sun. You got a lot of majors up here. So wanting somebody that's very available, and it does look like there's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming your direction. Their intention is dating. It is It is dating. You can be meeting them through the legal system or at work. I'm only saying that because justice can be anything to dealing with courts or police officers or anything of that nature. One more for temperance. This is somebody that also means to date with long-term in mind, and it does seem like you're going to make them wait. <laughs> so it can be a Pisces. I don't think, I mean, with the moon here overall, I don't think you're going to see it coming. But I do have to say I still feel that there's a, a choice between two. But it is somebody that is going to want to, you know, it's work-related possibly. you got workity work here. Eight of coin says that it's something that continues now that can be a friendship that continues and it turns into something else but it's somebody that's paying attention to you already oh and there's the king of wands okay then we quit for you guys because that's where we started that's how i feel about that so taurus Virgo, capricorn somebody that's going to continue somebody that's going to kind of pick up where they left off this could be somebody that you've known and had interest in before you've had this ending that you have that you have let go of now you're waiting and you feel like you're in limbo all right but seven of wands you gotta you gotta stop resisting you have to stop uh pushing against the flow so that you can actually allow this new love to come your direction Right underneath of that, we have the Emperor. So it should be soon. We actually, I did draw a card for singles prior, and we did get December for you guys. So it's not that long of a wait until you should meet somebody, but you might already be familiar with this person. Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces very heavily. Mm, Libra quite heavily, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is new dating. Somebody that spends time with you. It's somebody very chill. Yeah, it is beautiful energy. It just feels like you're holding yourself back. Okay, so try to work on that healing with temperance there. If you want your person back, source with the overall energy of the moon. What do we have? Page of Wands. What are they curious about? So they might, they're thinking. They're thinking about reaching out. So they might. One more. Five of the, okay, the, you have been in a timeout right now. This is like no taco, no taco for you. And this person's really holding back. They're wondering if you've just moved forward. Okay, since this... What are you doing? Shush, Wookie. He ruined another deck. And because of the fact that it came up, I'm going to show you. He says that looks like Deadpool. See it? And I'm like, way to kill it for me. Oh my gosh. With the fool, this is saying there can be a new beginning and singles that does look like new dating. But this person is looking at, can we move this back together? Has there been too much shit going on or can we have a new chapter? So they feel very stuck, but they feel like it's a mutual stuck. Right under that, you got the devil. Can be a Capricorn. Keep that in mind, singles. But this is this feeling of, I'm not moving. So they feel like you're just... Um, <laughs> Crossing your arms and telling them to piss off because you feel like they did something toxic or they didn't put enough work into it. They do want to get on the same page with you, but they do not feel that they are right now. Mm -mm. You got to time out. This person can be just choosing to move forward because they think you have. Okay? The, the lady here with the big hooter says you went somewhere else. You went forward. You went on to something better. They might think that and therefore they're just going to, you know, slowly move into a different direction. But... They're still wondering if there's been too much that's happened to be able to try again. So it is there. It's very wishy-washy. Not talking right now, but still curious about what you're up to. All right. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the world, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo. heavy on the Pisces. 
get a timing card for those that want their person back and see if we can get a timing on when they might reach out. I do feel singles, you got to like peel the shit energy off of you because it's really showing, really showing you need a little more healing. All right, source, wanting their person back. It's not too late. Okay, huh? So if uh, this person's feeling that two of swords energy of being in limbo and feeling like you're crossing your arms, you might need to be a little bit more open if you actually want this person and feel that you can salvage it. That's what we have for you, Tauruses. We're going to get one from the Wookiee for a yes, no. She just admitted that she totally forgot about my dice I, I roll. I almost did. I almost did. I'm so sorry. So we have a <laughs> fuck on. Or if you're in a bad mood, you could say fuck no. All right, Tauruses. No customer service. <laughs> oh, God. That too. All right, my gems of the Zodiac. Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. Two more. Okay. All right. <laughs> this person's dropping somebody else so that they can come your direction. They're very interested in a new beginning with you, a new future with you. Now, this also can be your ex and needs to drop toxic shit, like third-party crap or drinking or something of that nature. It does look like they do mean to change their values. They do mean if there was a third party which doesn't have to be, it can be overworking, it can be anything, all right? But it does look like they're looking to change their negative thoughts and how they think about things. Right now they're watching, but they want a new beginning. Now, singles, this can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius as well, or a Capricorn besides fire signs, all right? I know, kind of confusing, but just go with it. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Ooh, my third eye is going zzzz. Now we see why. All right, this person is, they're basically fucking blowing you off is what they're doing. Can be a Virgo, one more. Yeah, okay, they don't know what the hell they want right now. They don't want, they're, just, they're going back and forth in their mind about what? One more. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Yeah, okay, so I'm saying commitment fold. They're, they're really going, ha, ah. ha. You know, I don't know. They're, they're blowing you off. They're so blowing you off. Can be a Taurus as well, or a Virgo, besides a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, on that noise. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Guarded. Still has a little, you know, a little fight left in them, but they are a little guarded, afraid of being hurt. Nine of Wands. Why are they so guarded? Emotionally, okay. Oh, they still have feelings that are growing for you. Okay. One more. Be a Taurus or a Libra as well. Or a... Okay, they want to talk. So if you had a timeout from somebody, they... Yeah, it does look like there's been a timeout and a period of staying in and really thinking, trying to do some healing, thinking about, you know, it's worth it. Yes, yes, it's worth it. But that's growing feelings and feeling that you had an abundant connection and wanting to talk, move your direction. It's a lot of movement. So it's like they took a time out, yes, but they're ready to come your way and have talks about what had happened, whatever had happened. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Shuffle. Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns. All right, you got the hangman. Also can be a Pisces. Walking away, all right. Feeling rejected, possibly. What else? But they're holding back, trying to gain a different perspective. Ooh, they might want to return and try to make things right, but they feel like you're not open to it. That's the feeling of, okay, there's competition or there was an issue or a conflict, and it was petty bullshit that led to this, them walking away, or you walking away from them. It can be either way, but there's also a feeling of rejection, and they think you're just shut down to this. How you view them, this looks like some of you want a reconciliation. Some of you might be out doing a party because they left, okay? But the hangman is somebody trying to get a different perspective, and it does look like they want to have a breakthrough with you. This is I will. It's like I will come your way, try to compromise, try to get you to open up. But it feels like you're not talking to that person right now. No. All right. Let's get a clean deck, gems. All right. So just a reminder, Fridays is basically singles, but we do some in disconnection. 
you have the overall energy. It's, it's great. Okay, it's very nice. But <laughs> Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Wands. So this is basically saying, where's my fucking person? I want love. I want love. King of Cups. Using your heart, using mind. Can be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in direction. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is kind of like a, ah, this is taken forever type feeling. It's coming. I know tarot readers say that all the time. It's annoying. Breath. Yes. <sighs> um, you know, okay, give it one of those. Source, who might be coming towards our single Gemini? Single, single, single. This is the fountain deck. And then I got one Gemini that asks. There we go. Okay, so who is coming your way? Page ones. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that's curious, wanting to get to know you. Ooh, and screw brains out. Right underneath of that, ooh, 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 you might have two options, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Source, one upright. One upright. Oh, you have two. Okay, we just clarified. You got choices to make, so while you're feeling like it's just not happening, heavy on the Aries Leo Sagittarius. King of Cups, still at the bottom of the deck, or landed again on the bottom of the deck, but wow. You have the Ace, the Two, and the Page of Wands. I'm curious to get to know you. I can't wait to get busy, get down, get dirty, but uh-oh, is there another option? Yeah, well, we did clarify. There could be. This can be your roaming eye and kind of checking out your other options. Wanting to be happy. It can be a Cancer coming your direction. Contentment, wish fulfillment. Yes, it's coming. Movement forward. Very determined. Tell us more about this person. Or persons. Knight of Wands. Okay. So I feel like you've got, can't be two fire signs, but one that's more mature than the other. One wants to just jump into your pants and get the, you know, show on the road. The other one actually wants to go somewhere. Like emotionally go somewhere with more reliability. So you got one that's more of a flirt and could be just wanting to, you know, for one thing. And one that actually wants dating. Okay? So keep that in mind. Can be a Libra Taurus. This is two people that feel the same way. The two of wands also can be two people that feel the same way. But it makes it feel more like it's a sure thing. But it's more sexual. That's more sexual. This is more. The two of cups is more the mutual deep connection type feeling. The Knight of Wands is quick energy, but very, very persistent, and this is stability. Now, this also can be a celebration, so there can be a need to travel to go to a celebration to find somebody. So I'm saying if you get an invitation, go by all means. All right, let's get a timing card for when you might meet this these people, because it seems like you got a little flirty one coming in first before the actual real deal. When, when, when? Nine to ten months, and then you got no rush. So you might need to work on a little more healing right now. That's what we have for, oh, and patience is the key. Well, that sucks ass. We don't like that. But you can change your own outcome. Tarot, the devil's urnar. It's the devil's urnar. Tarot is just a story that may or may not resonate with your energy, and it changes every day, okay? Every day, it's either your story or it's not. You control your future. You control your outcome. It's your vibration that you put out to the to the universe. So don't get too wound up with that. But this is definitely somebody that's going to really be attracted to you and think a lot of you. That's definitely somebody that feels the abundance with you and feels one hell of a connection. It's very nice. All right. Those that want their person back. What is that person thinking? What is that person thinking right now? Or lack thereof. Come on now. One more shuffle. What is that person thinking? Okay, six of swords and strength. So if they bailed on you or thinking about bailing on you right now, they're holding back, okay? This also can be wanting to put the baggage behind you, but the, you still got this. If there's an emotional bond, they're acting like this is a pain in the ass. 
with the Nine of Wands, they're defensive, there's arguments, they emotionally exhaust you. Can be a Leo. How do they actually feel? So I feel like they're avoiding you, kind of blowing you off. Feelings. How do they actually feel? Okay, that's independent. That That is somebody that usually is in a relationship with the King of Coins, so they feel like they're responsible. Even if you don't, they feel they are. This is somebody that may want to try to work things out. You got the Three of Cups here. Bottom of the deck, overall energy of the star. It also can be complications called another person coming your direction. Sorry, but if we're talking about somebody that is kind of in limbo, kind of leaving kind of half one foot in and one foot out, Possibly a Leo, and then we got, <laughs> how are they feeling? They might see somebody else taking their place. Page of Swords, somebody watching you. So now if we're talking exclusively about the person from the past, this would say that there is there is faith here, but right now they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything, and they're acting like a jackass. And honestly, I really feel like, oh, 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 oh. There's more than one person here, or they think there is, and there might be. It could wrap right into here. Three of Wands, getting it off the ground, but it's anticipation and it is a wait. I'm feeling that the person from the past feels like somebody's taken their spot and they are ticked. Where the hell did he go? King of Swords. It looks like the Wookiee if he was like 20 years old. It's so funny how all the decks seem to look like the Wookiee with the King of Swords and he is a Libra. But this is faith. This is having faith. This is anticipating moving forward. And right now, this person's all up in their head. They're not letting on. They're not letting on. Not one damn bit. But this does almost look like you're choosing somebody else or you're on the borderline of doing so. And so they're kind of like, well, then fuck this shit. Then I'm going to be out too. So, I mean, it can be a reconciliation with judgment coming up, but it also can be you saying that's enough of this and choosing somebody that's more reliable. It's there. Sorry, guys. It just is there. It can happen. You have the three putting baggage behind you or bailing. All right. I'm feeling like they're holding back, but judgment is a second chance, but it also can be a brand new beginning. I'm feeling obviously it's going to be different for everybody. It can't resonate for everybody, but that's what we're getting. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius very heavily, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo heavily, Singles, get your butts out of the house. Libra Taurus, Cancer heavily. And again, I know I've got a, a Gemini that likes, this is the fountain deck. The fountain deck. It was an anniversary present. We've been through thick and thin for five years. Congratulations us. That was celebrated on Halloween. It's another day we like. Okay, so timing card for those in disconnection. Make it happen sooner. So it's really going to depend on you. Oh, 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 shit. And you also have a waste of time. Ah, I'm feeling that, that ooh, snap decision making here. Some of you, yes, you could make it happen sooner. And some of you are just going to feel like, no, it's not worth it. If this person's going to tread so lightly, like they're afraid to come back and, you know, mm -mm, like they're like this close to just walking out the door, but not saying anything about it. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got. <laughs> Okay, the foo foo dice. We have fucking, fucking a. a. All right, that's what we have Gemini's and on we go. All right, Cancers, elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, let's see what we got. One more. One more. Also could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Ooh. So this person wants to start dating you. They want to start dating quickly, but they do want it to lead to something more long-term. So they want this to be a new chapter between the two of you. It's very nice. Heavy on the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Aries, okay? But they're coming in quick. Not always the most suave with their verbiage with the Knight of Swords. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Source. air signs. All right, now, okay. Oh, Snapple. Um, two, upright. Yeah, okay, so you got more than one person here. One's a player and one's more sincere. You got a choice to make. Mm-hmm. 
it feels it feels like it can be a Taurus as well, but it feels like it's going to be an obvious choice because one could be more like a player and one's more asking you out and being more of a lady or a gentleman. One's got more long-term intention. I don't think it's going to be that hard to figure out. They both can be the same sign or, or this is just a warning to watch out for a player. But one definitely has the intention of long-term. Very serious dating. Okay. One's actually polite. One's polite. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. This person is just dropping this, releasing it. What else? With the H, are they trying to figure anything? Yeah, just feeling like you're not going to... They feel like you won't even talk about this. That, so they're trying to ignore the situation. They're not facing it. You see how she's not facing her own reflection and closing down? Big time closing down. This person may have, it's like they felt rejected by you. All right. With the five of wands there, this is somebody that does still want there to be a compromise between the two of you and try to figure things out. But right now with the two of swords, they feel like you're just refusing to talk to them and don't even want to deal with them at all. Like choice has been made and they are denied. Okay. What do we have for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn? The Emperor. So singles, that means you should be meeting somebody soon. Can be an Aries as well. Oh, with long-term intention. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, male or female. Abundance. Reliability. High expectations. Can be well off. But it sure the hell looks like they're going to make you wait for it. You got the Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody that wants things to go right. But this is everyday ups and downs too. So it should go well. But they're going to make you wait for it and earn it. I like it. I got to tell you. Yeah, they're really going to make you. They want to work with you. They want it to work out. But they're going to make you work for it. So hold them back a little bit. It's like, I deserve. And that's a nice thing to have about yourself or that they see you being that way. Okay? It can be rules reversed. But this is definitely somebody that's like, serious inquiries only. I like it. All right. Let us get a clean deck. Okay, so Cancer is overall energy of judgment. Pay attention. It's like an indication. Pay attention. It's like a snake peeling its skin. This is a new happening. It's a change. It can be a rebirth. So this can be a reconciliation if you're looking for that. Fridays are more for singles. But this is also new happenings and changes that you might not see coming. Okay, so right underneath of that, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces... Messaging, small messaging, can be somebody that's younger than you, can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but it does look like there's an interest here. Those who want your person back, you might hear from that person via small text. All right, Cancer, Sora, single Cancers, who is coming their way? Who is coming their way? Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is this person's intention? Intentions. Okay. You know, I feel like they've just been put out like a bum by somebody else. One more for the five of discs. One more for the five of coins. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know that this person's ready for new love yet. So, <laughs> those are fresh freaking wounds. This looks like they just got their ass ripped into by the Queen of Swords, the Mega Bitch. Okay, so this is somebody that's still working on healing. Okay, why are they coming towards our Cancers? <coughs> Four of Wands. I you mean, you can meet them just at a gathering or a party or some kind of celebration. They can be in the middle with justice at the bottom of the deck. They can be in the middle of a divorce. So just be aware of that. We're actually going to pull that out. With the nine of coin right under that, yes, single. But I feel like newly single. All right. Are they interested in dating? Are they actually interested or ready for dating? Death reversed? No. They're not over their ex yet. They're not ready to move on. I'd be careful with that crap. One more for death. 
they're used to being in a connection. So be careful. Um, it does look like this person could have interest in you with the star here, with the cut of the deck, have interest in you, kind of daydreamy, but deep down, they're used to being married, they're used to that long-term connection, and they may want to be in a connection because it is a connection, but they are sexually attracted to you. They do have the, um, I can feel this would be fun, I can feel this, you know, faith, hope, but they also can be hoping to get back together with their person. Because you got the Empress here. Ace of Swords. I think they'd be honest with you if that were the case. They might, though. They might still want to be back with their person. The Empress can be the mother of the, the mother, mother of the children. But wanting balance. So you got an iffy here. All right. Does this move forward with this person? Ooh. And of wands. I'd be damn careful. Is Cancer interested in this person? Ace of Swords. You just want the truth. I don't know that you're really going to be interested. I think you're going to be holding back on this. So this is like meeting somebody out. You get interested. They get interested. They get cold feet because they're still stuck on their ex. What else is coming towards Cancers? Singles. Single source. The Emperor. So there will be somebody. It's almost like your next step before the, you know, decent one that'll be hanging out. We're running out. I'm making a freaking mess here. That's good. We like it. So it can be a Leo coming your direction. Can be an Aries, but this is all four kings in one. But it should be that you should be meeting somebody soon when you are single. Tell us about this person. Three of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so you got the Queen of Coin and the Three of Cups. So this is somebody, again, with the meeting somewhere out, getting together in groups of people. That can be a reconciliation if you're looking for that. But this with the Queen of Discs, this is somebody that's looking for somebody reliable. The Emperor definitely wants reliability. Demands it. Very ambitious, in charge, the father of the duck. Does this move forward? Okay. Oh, God, it had to be the fool. All right, I got to tell you guys, I want you to, I'm going to get you real close up here. You see it? The bookie says it's Deadpool. You see that crap? He's ruining tarot. Okay, so this is somebody that is interested in dating. Yes. They want to jump in. They want to take a chance. They do want to move things forward with you. That can be their interest in you. That is your card. But can be another cancer. So, yes, there is new dating, but it just seems like you're going to meet somebody that is not quite ready or in the middle of a divorce. I think they're going to be honest with you. I think you're going to demand the honesty. You got the Ace of Swords here. But it's like, I want a new chapter. I want things to move forward. So you're going to be a bit stern with them. And then in comes something else. That's what I'm feeling. Can't resonate for everybody. But there is new dating coming your direction. All right. Those that want their person back. What is that person thinking? What is that person thinking? Hierophant. Okay. So they're thinking about the commitment. They're thinking about the values. Learning a lesson here, possibly. Have mercy, they're thinking. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups, they consider you. They're thinking about you as, as contentment, wish fulfillment. For themselves, though, okay? I don't feel like you're talking to them right now. This is like they're laying low, taking a time out, like they get the naughty corner, not happy about it, and then I, I really feel like you're not talking. But do they reach out? It sure looks like it. You have the Ace of Wands. So there is still interest here. They are thinking about being more content with you than without you. Does this person reach out? Small little baby steps. See that itty bitty past pooski? This is like a little text just going, hey, how are you? But it leads into more. So it's like if you reciprocate, then they'll reciprocate. So it is showing back and forth and back. Oh, and look at this right underneath of that. That is a very positive sign with the emperor being here. You have the empress at the bottom of the deck that this person, oh, and there's faith. See, when I run into, you know, when we kind of hit a, 
that's like my blockade. Once I hit something that I've already said, kind of wrapped up that. We're wrapping it up. There is still hope. Can be an Aquarius. So singles, signs for you. I do feel like this person is going to reach out. I do think that this person, sorry, in regards to the those in connection or loosely connected, I do feel like they will, but it's going to be real tiny, tiny because they're just not sure. It's like, what do I do? They're nervous. They're scared. They're, you know, they're thinking about what there had been. And with the four of swords, there's been a time out, a major time out. With Deadpool here, the Fool can be an Aries singles, all right? This can be a reconciliation. It can be brand new dating and meeting somebody else. So we have Aries, and I'm kind of jumping all over the place, huh? Lay off the coffee. Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Lay off the coffee. Taurus, Aries again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, heavily. Libra heavily, Leo, Scorpio, but I do think the singles, the person that you are meeting next is still kind of hung up on their ex, even if they, you know, oh, no, no, yeah, I think you are, I think this is fresh, all right, let's get a timing card for both singles and those loose connection, okay, source, singles, that's the most on their mind. Okay, you got press pause. And then you got November. Well, we're in November, so we could be meeting somebody soon. All right. And those that want their person back. You have January and slowly but surely. So give, it, give that person a little bit more space. Let's see what the Wookiees got with the Foo Foo Dice. Fucking A. All right, that's what we have for you, Cancers, and on we go. All right, Leo's Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, King of Cups. This is somebody that's reliable. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They want your attention. Look at this. They want to move things fa fairly forward, okay? They want a fair chance. They definitely want to be acknowledged by you. This is somebody that can um, be at a distance physically, but they want balance, harmony. Yeah, can be a Libra, can be a Cancer. Very nice energy. So they acknowledge you and they um, want it in return. Balance, connection, fair, and even all that kind of good stuff. Also can be... Somebody in the legal system or uh, paramedics and um, police officers. Just saying. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. The world can also be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius placement. Ooh, the hats for you. This is somebody that's just like me. Look at me. 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 Here. See me. Okay. They want your attention. Trying to get your attention, wanting to move things forward. Let's do this, you know? Let's move forward. Me, 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 me. I don't think you're interested. This isn't going so well for them. However, they're coming at you is not going so well for them at all. You're, you're just kind of going really not, not liking you being so pushy. One more. Yeah, I don't think you're interested at all. I think they're just too pushy for you. And you're like, that's nice. I appreciate the compliment, but no, thank you. All right. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. The Two of Swords reversed. Can feel like there was a bad choice made here. Oh, yeah. They're feeling the loss. They're feeling disappointed. Emotionally drained, but it feels like they made a bad choice. And it was competition and petty arguments. How do you view this person? I'm nosy. Player. No. Yeah, they accidentally um, fell into a vagina or fell onto a penis. So that's player. You don't feel the same way about that person anymore. Mm -mm. Bad communication. Bad. 
Bad. Bad water sign. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, heavy on the Aquarius. This person wants truth and honesty coming at you. Very, very stern, but they do want a new beginning. They have faith in the connection between the two of you. Very sexually interested. This feels very new, but so this is, I really feel like they're kind of guarding their heart. They do have hope that this can work out. This can be somebody that's already watching you. So that's very nice energy, whether it's a reconciliation or somebody new. It feels more new, I got to tell you, though. Having faith in a new connection, putting up clear boundaries, guarding your heart, honest efforts being put forth, and very sexual and very much wanting a mutual attraction sexually. All right, Leos, let's get a clean deck. All right, just a reminder, Fridays is mainly for singles. We do do disconnection and wanting your person back. Overall energy of temptation can be a Capricorn, can be a Cancer. Right underneath of that, you have the Chariot and the Four of Wands. So I'm feeling the need to tell you guys to, if you get an invitation or you get out of the house, this is travels and this is a possible celebration, festival. I don't care if it's a, a market, okay, an outside market. Sometimes they have those in fall. Get out. This does look like passion and movement forward and a lot of temptation. So we're going to put the cherry back in, but we are going to tell you it can be a Cancer or a Capricorn. Source, who is coming towards our Leos? Let's go for a sign here first. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then heavy on that Capricorn. Their intention, their intention with my Leos. Their interest with my Leos. Okay, that's it. We got here. Six coins. Ooh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that wants, if they text you, they want to text back. They want things to be very balanced, they want things to be even. They're a generous person themselves and they appreciate it in return. Can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Their intention is new dating. You got the Ace of Cups. I'm going to put that that way so you can see the king there. Now, you also have the lovers here. So, this can mean two things for you. There can be an option for you, or this person's got very good communication, and you could feel one with that Four of Wands having been in your incoming energy. That can be the 1111 Soulmate. This is also Soulmate. Two of Cups and Ace of Cups. This is beautiful energy for meeting somebody new that could move forward into dating and very nice dating. The King of Wands is mature. Very good looking. Definitely, yeah, I don't want to say domineering, but very bold and definitely goes after what he or she wants. Okay. And then you got the Magician. Again, I got to tell you guys, I feel like you've been manifesting whether you realize it or not for this new beginning. And it's... You've been working on this, okay? The Eight of Coins is putting work and effort into something and continuing to do so, continuing to put this together. This is initiation and movement forward, but I feel like it's your energy really working on drawing that new person in, and it does look good. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Not... No, we're not really much on the air, but the magician I do feel is all of the elements just because they have everything. You have everything that you need to move forward. So moving forward beautifully, it looks like you're extremely tempted by this person and a lot of lust. So it does seem like you're going to have the hots for this person with the king of wands here. It is reciprocated. Nice energy, guys. Okay. All right, if you want your person back, what are they thinking source? Okay. You got the five of coins reversed. and see what else flew out. Seven of swords and the seven of coins. All right. You got to slide singles over a little bit. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting sloppy. Okay. Let's try to fix this. Let's make this better. I'm sorry that I lied to you. I'm sorry that I didn't put enough effort into this. Is this still worth trying? This person could have snuck off or thought they got one over on you and it didn't go so well because they're out in the cold right now wanting to, they feel, oh, they really feel put out. Oh, they really feel put out and they do miss you. Look at that. 
I miss you. I still consider you to be the one for me, the one that's more responsible. This is this is either holding back from their emotions and lying or cheating or whatever the case may be. But it's someone trying to get one past you and it definitely gave you a trust issue. It felt like somebody was hiding something. Sneaking off. Deception. Quietly maybe getting up the nerve to come your direction and try to offer a peace offering and say, let's try this again. Their actual deep down feelings besides missing my Leos. Their actual feelings. They feel that you are extremely independent and <laughs> might not be uh, accepting this. One more for feelings. Kind of like it didn't take you much to get on your feet. And then the world. So this is saying, let's have a new chapter. One more for feelings. Yeah, okay. Let's get back together. Three of Cups. Let's bring this back together. Let's not argue anymore. I am sorry for what I said. I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm sorry that I caused a shit show. Basically, a lot of sorrow here and regret and remorse. They see that you bounce back pretty damn good. And it's like, I could have anything that I want and I can move any direction that I want. But they are wanting to reconcile. There's a time out here that they want to clear things up this is getting up the courage and the balls inflating their nads to actually do so but wanting to know are you open to it singles keep in mind what the world can be a taurus leo scorpio aquarius but this is a chance if you're looking for a reconciliation yes wanting to work things out wanting to and they are nervous you got the nine of swords right underneath of that nervous 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 sleepless nights can be guilt as well but sorry about the shit show. Sorry about treating you like an option. You know, just a lot of, I really messed up. Okay. So a lot of, I'm, I regret what I said. I regret walking away. Can we do this again? And I know you have choices. I know you've got it all going on, but they see you looking damn good. Okay. So we have four signs. Let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy on the Capricorn with the devil over there. This is also for those that want your person back. Are they willing to drop toxic shit? That's what you need to keep in mind. Because the devil upright is selfish. Okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With the world here, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Gemini, heavily... But all signs and then Aries, Leo, Sag, when we ask for singles, overall signs coming your way. Let's get a timing card. All right, source for singles, a timing card, please. You have one needed the most and worth the wait. Not very much telling, but all right. And this already flipped out after a hard time in January for those in disconnection are looking to reciprocate and get back together. All right. We're having the Wookiee get the foo-foo dice out for you guys. Question. Answer. Fuck, Fuck on. on. <laughs> All right, Leah. That's what we have for you. And on we go. All right, my Virgos. Elemental clickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. Okay. Oof, that was quick. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. Well, no. Well, well, well. All right. So you have possibly a Sagittarius. This person wants your attention and they want to, they, they want your attention, but it feels like you're going to make them wait. I want to know if you're interested because this person wants to get on the same page with you. They want to, you know, cuddle fuck. They want to hang out. They want to Netflix and chill. That's new dating for okay singles this is beautiful energy this is definitely a sagittarius somebody that's patient but really wants your attention and they really really can see a future with you anticipation of a from now on but that's new dating this is stability and very very nice they've got the stability and they have patience but they got the hots for you that's like wow it's like all four kings there with the emperor liking it all right Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, Schnapola. Possibly also a Scorpio. So a big change for this person. Could have been an ending with you. 
after the big change comes possible reconciliation, though. So they're watching you. They're wondering about, oh, they're hurt. Okay, was this a third party? No. Okay. Well, I shouldn't say that because that is a three. One more. Was this a third party? No. They do want to get on the same page with you. They do want, I mean, they're really hurting. Okay, we did clarify. Wanted to get on the same page. Two, you know, two sets of threes can be third party. If this guy had been reversed, I'd say yes. But they don't want this. They don't want, they're still kind of in shock that this has happened. If you had a separation or a breakup, they are still in shock. And they want to try to figure things out with you. They still feel like you are the right one for them. They're wondering if you feel the same way with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So really hurting, really licking their wounds and missing you. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Source. Reconciliation energy or getting together amongst friends and celebrating... What else do we have? Okay. This is somebody that feels like they've disappointed you. They do want to move things forward. They don't think you want to talk to them. You got the Empress reversed in the Four of Swords. So they feel like they've, they might feel rejected and that they, you know, but they want to move things forward with you. How do you view this? Some of you want them back. Or see that they're going to attempt to. It's almost like you have this gut feeling that they're going to try to come back and work on things. Put more work into it have a new chapter with you. It feels like they disappointed you. It really feels like they hurt you. They could have been codependent or jealous, emotionally immature or cold. I mean, anything. General ups and downs of bullshit. I mean, not that it can't be stepping out. It can. They took a time out to really, you know, lay low, think about this, and it does look like they're going to come forward with a, you know, let's reconcile, let's try to work this out. Singles, this was not, no, this would not be for you, okay? Other than there'd be a cancer thinking about you, but mm -mm. All righty, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Source. Ooh, the king. You also have the queen over there. I demand happiness because I'm sexually interested in you. Now, you see how she's looking this way? And he's looking that way. Heavy on the Aries with Sagittarius. I'm just saying that because I can kind of feel that energy there. But this person wants to take things at a slow, methodical pace. A lot of passion. And they do mean well. But they're going to come off more sexual than anything at first first so this is somebody that they take their time their sweet ass time when it comes to actually committing be patient because it does seem like their intentions damn oh yeah cut of the deck ace pentacles there's a genuine successful offer here bruin Ooh, heavy on the aries leo sag guys i just feel that okay let us get a clean deck virgo Okay, my Virgos, you have the overall energy of the Hermit. So this is feeling like I'm alone. I'm home. I'm constantly in. However, this can be blowing somebody off, blowing everybody off just to see the wind. This is higher learning. It's introspection about where to, you know, where am I going to find a decent person? You could have your eye on somebody or vice versa. But this feels like I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And here is the chariot saying something is coming. Stay determined. All right, what's underneath of that? Two of discs. It could be more than one. Isn't that the coolest freaking card ever? Ugh. This is the anniversary deck, by the way. Happy anniversary to me and the Wookiee. Five years of ups and downs and good stuff and sass and all that wonderful stuff. All right. Can be a cancer. This does feel like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. Fridays is mainly for... Um, our singles, so just mention that we are doing disconnection too, but this is the feeling of being spied on. So if you're wondering if this person or someone is watching you, they are. They're not stalking you and doing drive-bys. They're just basically trying to check you out, okay? So this is basically singles. Where's my boo? You know, where's my person? I want a decent person. I'm holding back until I find the right person. You could be blowing people off left and right. Can be a Virgo, can be a Taurus, can be a Cancer. Source, what do we have coming towards our singles? What sign? What sign or signs? Okay, what do we get? The Empress, Libra, and Taurus. Mm, the mother of the duck. Their interest. Ooh, well, we like that. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very heavy on the earth here. All right. And Libra and Virgo, which is earth. I want a new chapter. So you have somebody coming your direction. This can be work related or somebody that you do work with. But oh, this is somebody that wants to date with the intention of long term. Right underneath of that, oh, you guarding your heart and making sure that it's the right person. Wanting that dating, this person definitely with the emperor and the king. of This is somebody that means business when it comes to dating. This is like having all four kings in one. They think, they analyze, they have passion, they have love, they appreciate other people's, they appreciate finer things, they are hard worker, it's all in one. The king of pentacles is somebody that dates with the intention of long term. And this is seeing that you're guarding your heart and being very cautious, but that they they appreciate, you know, they're appreciating the fact that you want something worthwhile. And this is somebody that is willing to put the work into it. With the energy of the Virgo, they could have had their, or I'm sorry, the Hermit, they could have had their share of crap in the past too and have learned enough lessons to know what a real connection is. And this looks very nice for a new connection. This is bringing it up. A new chapter. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Heavy on the Aries, Virgo. But all signs are up here. Libra, heavy. Taurus, very heavy. All right. If you want your person back, you already have death reversed at the bottom of the deck. What do we have for their thoughts? Okay. This person is hurt. With the overall energy from the bottom of the deck of, I don't want this to be done. This is also not necessarily changing either, okay? They feel like you, feelings, they're feeling like you are holding back, not saying much. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Their actual feelings. One more shuffle. Okay. Four of Wands and the, uh -huh, okay, they still consider you to be home and they miss you. So this is definitely somebody that does feel the stability of the connection between the two of you. They didn't want or don't want the ending. They still feel hurt. Was this a third party situation? No. So reversal just for the no. Does this person want to reconcile? Eight of Cups. This is feeling rejected, okay? Now, it can be that they felt like you walked away from this first, even if you didn't and they did. They felt rejected. Four of Cups. They can't think of anything but you. They're blowing off the rest of the world because they feel sorry for themselves and wanting to put the drama behind the two of you and up in their head with guilt and remorse and sleepless nights and anxious as hell about you. You. Does this mean that they're willing to work on things? They're waiting because they don't know what the hell you think. You got the moon here. They're going, I don't know what the hell to think. Uncertainty about the future. There's still hope here. There is still hope. But as far as reaching out, I don't feel like it's going to be them. I think that they they do have, they still have feelings for you. You have the Ace of Cups right underneath of the star. Can an Aquarius singles, keep that in mind. But this is still having hope and faith. Hope and faith. I mean, with the Hermit, I feel like they really have taken some time, some serious thinking going on with this person. Going, how do I compromise this? How can I bend this person's direction they do feel rejected even if they walked away they felt like it was what was the best thing at the time to do this is saying replanting the seeds to see where it goes and this is saying yes there is a chance you have healing here and then you have the wheel of fortune so yes that is a you know possibility at least with the energies that we have right here that this can work out this just needs more time right now. It's just, it's not right now. No, we are going to get a timing card. So we have Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, heavily. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Scorpio, heavy on the Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, 
Aries. But all signs are up here. Okay, let's get a yes, no separately for singles and those wanting a person back. All right, here we go. Source. Singles. When? Okay, you have nine to ten months and no rush. So you might need to be working on more healing and more time outies. Those that want your person back, you have patience is key in seven to eight months. Okay, so a little bit of time yet. You can change this. The tarot is not the, you know, all end all. All right, you have control over your destiny and you can change the energy. And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Tarot is the devil's the owner. So I hear. All right, we're going to see what the Wookiee has with the foo foo dice. Okay, question most on your mind? You got to fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Virgos, and on we go. Okay, Wookiee clan, Libra. let's do it. Aries, Leo, Sag, Elemental Quickies for Libra, Source, Dealing with Fire, Signs. Ooh, this person wants to apologize and have balance back between the two of you. They think you're a little bit hard-headed, though, that you're a little bit guarded and uh, defensive. How do you view them? Cut of the deck. Well, they could have made you an option or you feel like there's still a, a deep bond here with this person. You could be rethinking this. So if they do reach out, you might think about it. But right now, they do miss you. They are regretful and they are likely going to come your way to talk. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the chariots, so possibly Cancer. That is determination and ambition. Can be meeting somebody on a travel. Ooh, look at that. Definitely can be meeting somebody on travel. You got the war, um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Movement forward. Ten of Pentacles. That can be groups of people. So if you get a chance, go out. You could meet the right person or a very decent person. Can be a Taurus as well. But that's very nice energy of forward movement and good luck. So it might be luck that you meet this person at a gathering. I like it. All right, Libras, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You are dealing with water signs. You're giving them a fucking headache. This is somebody that feels like there's been a lot of arguments and they just felt the need to walk away. But they still have emotions for you. They are thinking about a reconciliation. This could have been one hell of a fight and they want to get over this and move things forward and they know that you're guarded and you're being barracuda about it. But they still have the balls to come your direction with the world here. Singles, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But this is saying this person wants to reconcile. And they, they want to bend like bamboo and do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. They want to compromise. They don't want to argue anymore. It does look nice. It does look like a new chapter with that person. Kind of a do-over. But they know that your heart is guarded. So they're going to have to do a little kissing up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Source, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Stuckity stuck. This person's refusing to see the situation for what it is. Refusing to look at anything. I mean, they're just ignoring. The, they're blowing your ass off. Look at that. Refusing to look at anything. Refusing to make any decision. Taking a time out, emotional vacay, and just holding back. They are blowing your ass off. Big time. The tough call. They might feel like you owe them an apology, or they might know that they owe you. Or they owe you an apology, but they do feel rejected, or the feeling of having walked away from this, and they are kind of going shit, shit, because they don't want the pain and suffering here. It does look like you feel more at ease about this ending with this person. <laughs> you could be going ding dong. The witch is dead. This is looking like there is an optimistic chance, but it, <laughs> it, some of you are just better off without this person. It looks like things could go better without them. There was a three there. It could have been a third party situation, but this is somebody that still either wants a second chance or it's like, I don't know, does it pay off? But they are blowing your ass off and refusing to look at the situation for what the hell it actually was. can also mean that they're not taking accountability for their part in the issue. Let's get a clean deck. All right, singles. Yes, we will still do those loosely connected, but Fridays are mainly for singles. 
you have possibly a Sagittarius coming your direction. You have temperance. So that's patience, balance. It can be somebody that is not your normal type, but you got the high priestess. So I feel like this is kind of you holding back, waiting for the right person, and it does look like this option is coming your way. So you have Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Sagittarius. This can be somebody who's secretly hiding emotions for you, holding back. You got the Seven of Swords. So I really feel like somebody's kind of like watching you, watching you. But this is a type of person or the energy of this type of person that likes to uh, listen to you. They're a cuddle bug. They're, you know, very, their temperament is calm. Okay. All right. Source. What do we have for singles? Who is coming their direction? Who's coming towards our singles? All right. Ten of coin, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, just looking at the cards, you have wish fulfillment and abundance with somebody very slowly taking your time. Patience, patience. Bottom of the deck, you have the eight of coins. So working on a new connection. This looks like somebody that's ready to open up communication and wants new dating. Straight up. And a decent person. And the emperor. I mean, this is all signs of meeting somebody soon that's going to work on a connection. It's a new connection. So it takes off the ground. Decent person or thinks that of you. The emperor is like all four kings in one. They're sensual. They're emotional. They're a hard worker and a thinker. Okay. All four in one. But it usually means singles should be meeting, especially next to the Hierophant, should be meeting somebody serious soon. Abundance. Yeah. Wish. Serious. Serious. We. Opening up communication and putting work into this new chapter. This is really beautiful. And they're all upright. Very nice singles. Very, very nice. So you have Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it's like wish granted. Very nice energy. All right. Those that want their person back. That was quick. Those that want their person back, their thoughts, the magician. Okay. So this is somebody that with the five of swords right underneath of that, once they're regretting words that they've said and they feel like they're getting the courage up to uh, take back those words, take back the fact that they could have walked away from the situation. They feel like they have everything that they need and they do have hope and faith. So they got big balls. So I'll give them that. But they do have faith and hopes that this can work out. This can be that it's been a long time. This can be that it was a long, you know, long term relationship. But it's also taking the obligation and trying to work through the burdens with somebody, actually finishing the task. What are their actual feelings for Libra? Four of Swords. They think that you're ignoring them or just kind of taking a time out, okay? putting in, They might think you're brushing them off, but there's still passion here. You got the King and the Queen of Wands together. We're going to leave that in there. But they do have emotions for you. They think that you're kind of ignoring them. Do they reach out? I mean, with the magician, oy vey, that would definitely be a positive indication. Okay, they're waiting. They're waiting. They're candy assing it. So they do miss you, but they're holding back. Now that can be because they're not sure what the hell you think, but that's the card of waiting and patience as well. Why are they waiting? Let's see if we can get an answer. Why the wait? The hangman is trying to get a different perspective of everything. They don't feel like it's a waste of time. They do miss you. But what's the hang up here? Because that looks like a new chapter. And the Empress, they still have a lot of feelings for you. They just need to get their shit together, get their balls. How do you view them? Okay, well, we know if you're on this side, you want this person back. You want them to be more reliable. It does look like it will happen. Two of Swords, it feels more like your energy is, is uh, they think that you're just not looking at this right now. But they're manifesting you, which means thinking a lot about you and they don't realize it. They think you're closed off, okay? Like you're holding it in, keeping your emotions to yourself and that you're very hurt. So they might be waiting for the dust to settle a little bit before they come your direction, but this person still has feelings. There is love here. There is the potential, especially with the star here. Hope, 
feeling an attainable goal, a new chapter, singles, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I like to toss in all of these signs, okay? Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. This looks quite positive, but right now they're waiting. Pisces, also a possibility. They feel like you're just hurt, okay? They know, they know. So this is, I miss you. I will take accountability for it. This is somebody that's a go-getter. The King of Wands makes things happen. So they know that they need to take action. They do know. This is regretting what they did. But this is powerful for movement forward. Although there is a little bit of a wait yet. They're getting their shit together. Temperance. Aries. Sagittarius. Taurus. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. Singles looks really nice. Wish fulfillment. Contentment. Getting your goal, getting the boo, getting what you want out of life. All right. Let's get a timing card for single source. February and time to work. So that can be working on healing. That can be a lot of different things. It'll be separate, different for everybody. And those that want their person back. Okay. Unexpectedly. And five to six months. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got with the foo foo dice. We like the foo foo dice. All right, Wookiee, what do you got for your crew? Give them a shaky shaky. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Okay, Scorpios, Elemental Quickies, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Elemental cookie, seven of swords, and the hermit reversed, and yuck. Okay, so this person is just moving away from you. It feels like they're just blowing your ass off here. You got the seven of swords sneaking away, kind of ignoring you, feeling a lack, feeling judged, or starting something new. So I would say that they are avoiding you. Heavy on the Virgo as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, that's a playa. Big playa. Very jackassy player, too. It's like, you come to me at 2 in the morning. Really? No, I think not. No, stroke my ego. No, go away. What the hell, guys? Stroke your own dang ego. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Don't make me get the Wookiee element out. All right, we got the Lovers. The Five of Cups reversed, and we have Death reversed. This person's not over you. We also have the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot, which I'm putting back in. So that does say that somebody is thinking about coming back your direction. Somebody that you could have had one hell of a connection with. They don't feel like things are done. They're regretting sorrow. Possible return with possibly an apology. Heavy on the Scorpio and Gemini. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Source. All right, what do we got? The Magician, and there's the Chariot. So that's a lot of initiation. Ooh. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so this person wants to move things forward. They feel very determined, very ambitious. They put a lot of thought into this. They feel like they have everything. I mean, it's it's really that, that good day that you feel like you got it all going on this is somebody that wants a new chapter very approachable very consistent straight and narrow wanting to put work into it new chapter possibly can be, be you know somebody from the past or somebody in coming all right let us get a clean deck my scorpios all right scorps this is the anniversary deck my beloved got me for five year anniversary he has been a lucky guy for five years. So this was my gift for five years. So we mainly do singles on Fridays, but we will do those in disconnection. Right now, singles. Does look like somebody's trying to get on the same page with you. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. So waiting. Waiting, where is it? My new chapter? Yes, it's coming. Somebody will be wanting to get on the same page and offer you a cup of love. Reconciliation with judgment definitely is there. So we're going to start with singles. can be a Pisces coming your direction, but it does look like you've been not waiting in vain. So the hangman, this epiphany, brainstorming, trying to figure out 
your life, connecting to the dots, can be feeling like a crisis, like where's my person, but it's the outlook that you have. So just surrender and let go to the universe. Source, who's coming towards our single Scorpios? Single Scorpios. There's that cancer, potentially. That's somebody with a lot of determination. Can be at a physical distance and need to travel to come and see you, but you also can meet them on a trip. They're very optimistic. Mm -mm -mm. Their intention, Source. Intentions. Okay. You got the Six of Swords reversed. This is somebody that's coming back around. So you may, may already know this person in the six, yeah, six cups. This is somebody that you know. What the hell's with the turnaround here, singles? Why do we have the six swords reversed? Unless we got our sides swapped. We have that sometimes. All right, that seems like somebody from your past that you had a long-term connection with is kind of pissed off here. You got the king of swords right on top of that. So they could be looking for, bottom of the deck, after you've had a time out and you don't see this coming, where they ghosted you possibly, wanting to go back and try to reconcile. So how do you view this person? Six of Wands. Some of you dig it. Some of you are into this. Some of you want to be acknowledged more from this person. It's like you didn't acknowledge me in the past. You should be acknowledging the period if you even think you have a snowball's chest in hell. Some of you will take that person back. So we're just going to have to say that those that want your person back, you kind of took over the reading. What else do we have for single source? That's a lot of determination on somebody from the past point of view trying to reconcile. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Loose Edge. All signs are up here. Singles, we will get to you eventually. It'll come. But the Four of Cups, Regretting, Remorse. Tunnel vision, like like right, like you're at the top of this damn tree, looking right up, looking for the stability with you again. There's judgment. So those want your person back. You took over. <laughs> you took over. Single source. Let's slow the roll here a little. Singles. All right. You have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Empress at the bottom of the deck with the Two of Cups. Strength run underneath of that. We'll take it. So, happier times, much more adoration. Somebody that sees you and appreciates you for who you are. This is basically saying that there is new dating coming in. King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Leo. Screw in first. So, this can start after you meet somebody out, especially with that chariot. You know, you've been hanging out at home. Get out of the house. You really don't meet anybody unless you're online looking for something. Cut of the deck. Successful opportunity approaches, okay? It can be somebody that you meet through work, but definitely thinking travels and moving, you know, moving around. Even if it's some kind of festival that you need to go to, get out of the house. This does look like somebody that you may already know, but them coming in with that offer of a date. They definitely want to, you know, have sex, very sexual. They feel um, intense passion between the two of you, strong chemistry. They're very motivated. Here, they do respect you, though, okay? The Empress is respected. Unless she's reversed, then not so much, and she's not usually happy. But this is definitely saying good fortune towards the idea of dating with a nice, positive outcome. So, singles... Leo, that's optimism, and it's forward movement initiation. So is the chariot. Cancer, Pisces. Two of Cups is two people that feel similar about each other for new dating. That's really nice. Libra Taurus. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. New passionate beginning. I, that, you know, really kind of weird on this card here. It's like, first of all, let's cover up our boo-boos. But person from the past really took over this reading. So this is looking like somebody that does want to reconcile. They really took over the reading. I usually try to put singles on the left. So if you've been waiting with an epiphany of when the hell, it does look... If you got ghosted, this person's definitely regretting it. Wanting to come back around and talk about this. This is somebody that has positive memories of you, so they're definitely thinking about you. And, you, and then, you know, if you want your person back with the Six of Wands, you do want acknowledgement, but they do want your attention. They're going to try to get your attention to have a conversation. Doesn't mean that it's a reconciliation, but it's a damn hell of a try with the judgment at the bottom of the deck. That's bringing things up from the past. So, Singles First Source Timing Card. 
see what we have for timing. Time will tell and time to plan. Well, it doesn't tell us much. Just watch person back. Time to recalibrate. Jeez, guys. And then you got March. Really not giving us much on as far as time, but time will tell. Yeah, doesn't that? It's kind of like every damn day. Seriously, source. Time to plan. There could be plans in the making. So if you have plans, that can be when you meet somebody. So again, with that chariot, that's movement. It's determination, but it can be travel. So get out of the house. All right. And the Wookiee, who is occupied waking his brain up it's gonna do the foo foo dice and you gotta fuck if i know from the wookie all right scorps that's what we have for you and on we go all right sagittarius if you are dealing with another fire sign elemental quickies sagittarius dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius source what do we have Ooh, there's been some drama here this person is not happy she or he can be very wicked, kind of cold, guarding their heart. But at the same time, they do want you to come back and try to resolve this. They're not as hurt as they have been. Why are they pissed off? I'm nosy. Okay. They just want peace. This is saying I want you to come back. Now, whether this is just so they can have, come, you know, uh, resolution on this or closure... But, the, you know, it can be a peaceful card, but they are sticking up for whatever the hell they actually do believe in. This can be trying to get your balance between two people. They're not as pissed off as they have been, so this could be a matter of waiting for the dust to settle. Also, heavy on that Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, element of air. Ooh, the magician. This person feels very powerful, like they have control over the situation. Ooh, balance and fairness. We like this so far. Yeah. Oh, my. With an offer. Heavy on the Libra. <clears throat> this is somebody that wants to make an offer. Having everything that they need, wanting to, you know, confront you. Having control, very willful action. Very much initiating a new beginning that can be successful, but they want balance between the two of you. So there isn't somebody that's better than the other. They consider you to be an even match. Like it. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands coming in quick. Okay. It's a lot of communication. Somebody that's speaking up. And boy, they feel like they... It's just like they've been working on manifesting, and it could be you. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, well, you definitely have a Pisces. All right. This person wants the truth and the truth only. They feel like you're not telling them everything. They do want to su succeed and, you know, be acknowledged by you. They definitely feel like you should be coming to them. The king of wands is bold and gets things done, but they usually like it if you come to them. Kings are kind of more like this. So ace of cups and ace of swords, they could bring the clarity to you if you don't, because they might start getting a little bit pushy here. They really feel like you're hiding something or just holding your emotions back. Can be hidden feelings. Yep, 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 yep. All right, but I mean, come on, ace of cups. They are interested in dating or... Reconciling, possibly. Okay, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn. I bent my card. Hey, hey, no wonder it did. So you got the Seven of Swords. Oh, this is somebody from your past that snuck off, took off, slowly slinked away like a snake. Now they're thinking about coming in and talking about talking to you because I'd be happier with you. I shouldn't have left. Well then. How do you view this person? They could have lied, but it is a feeling of trying to avoid their feelings, trying to avoid any confrontation with that seven of... Okay. <laughs> Some of you do want to talk to this person, but there again is that acknowledge me. You have to acknowledge me if this shit's not going anywhere. The Ten of Wands is going, I still have some drive and fight left in me. It's not completely giving up, okay? Coming in for a discussion that can be at a distance from you. This is saying I have positive memories of you. They're thinking about you a lot. But this card here, the Seven, uh-uh. Somebody trying to, or did try to get one past you. Holding back their true intentions or feelings. 
quietly getting up the nerve possibly though to come in and talk about you because you are heavy on their thoughts okay seven of swords isn't always the sneaky fuck i mean if we put that next to the three of swords yeah we got a we got a we got an issue all right let's get a clean deck okay sagittarius so you have beautiful powerful very having resourcefulness having it all oh yeah you're ready this is how ready you are, but you're holding back about it and being kind of quiet. So this is like a timeout that you've taken to try to pull yourself together, learn a lesson, pull it together, get her, get her, so that you can leave the baggage behind you and clarity is coming. So this does look like you've been holding back your feelings, holding back your feelings, but getting ready to get ready to get ready manifestating you know i mean if you've been working on manifestations it definitely looks like they're coming to fruition with the overall energy of the magician a lot of power having control over the situation it's like i'm ready to make a move all right source mainly singles today so what do we have oh, shit. Well, we're putting that over there eight of cups somebody that wants to come back I guess we're not doing singles first. We're going to put those two there. So this is somebody that's feeling the devastation of an ending. You know, it's funny. We looked at this card. Have you guys seen the movie The Cell? Do you remember the horse that gets chopped up into bits and, and she walks through in between the horses? This card reminds me of that. The Wookiee says, I'm not sweet. We hear what he said. Hey, the other one? I can't. It's in the other deck. He, he got me two anniversary cards. Yes, we've been together for five years. Decks, we, not cards. What? Two decks, two decks. He got me two. This is one of the anniversary decks. And the other one, according to him, has uh, Deadpool in it as the fool. He just slowly is killing tarot for me. People that want your person back, <laughs> woo! Now, it can't be that singles, you can't have your ex pestering you as well. But we're going with the Knight of Cups. All right, tell us more about the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, that can be you initiating because the magician is very willful. Ooh, hello. That's new dating. That's interest. That's a peaceful beginning. It's emotions that flow. It's new love. It's self-love as well. Feeling like there's a uh, good match here. Ready to open up your heart. Okay, with that hermit having showed up at the bottom can be a Virgo as well. If you've had somebody from your past singles that's still kind of like a dingleberry, kind of hanging on, their power, it's really there. But those that want your person back, very overpowering. Okay, so we'll see what we get for you in a moment. Mainly singles on Fridays. All right, what is this person's intention? Intention with my saggies. Intention. Jesus, Lord, I'm sorry, guys, but you're just taking over. This this person from the past is taking over this reading. So we're going to roll with it. Get the five of coins reversed. I want to come back. I want to try to recover or attempt to recover what I have lost, the situation, whatever the case may be. There had been a resistance here with this person. There's been a lot of drama, a lot of bickering, a lot of arguments. All right, back to singles. Source person's intention for my singles okay okay judgment and the fool so that is new dating that's bringing up the circumstances that's spending time with someone that can be an aries that's definitely looking like somebody coming your way with intention of long-term dating but it can be you with the magician here that's initiating this so this can be you flirting sorry it's there it can be you pushing it feeling like it's right for you and having everything that you need to make it happen cancer scorpio pisces this is somebody that is emotionally ready um for long-term dating but obviously it, you can't have the king of cups yet so let's see where can this go with this newer person how does this work out with a newer person okay hair font Ooh, Nelly. so that definitely says that this person, now come on, it's new dating, so we're not going to say you're going to marry the person, not that it can't happen, but they, they care about you, they conform to you, they're somebody that's committed to a relationship, so definitely does look good for new dating. We're going back to this, this person from the past that I just can't shake here. You got the devil, 
You got the King of Cups. This person is still saying they're all up in their head. They're worried. They're sleepless nights. They can be feeling guilty about something, shame, but they can't stop thinking about this. They are nervous as hell. Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They feel like you are holding back. If you want your person back, you are so heavy. I miss you. I should have given you more love. And they know you are ticked with the Queen of Swords here. Those that want your person back definitely took over this damn reading just completely. It does look like things could work. Working together. Working things out. Doing it again. Um, but it does look like making this, it's almost like it's their sole purpose right now is to try to make things better. Coming at you slow though, because there's that, you know, with that devil there, there's something that they need to drop that is toxic. It can't just be selfish energy because they feel like you're holding back and they miss you. You could have, you know, mm, turned your eye to them like they had to you, you know, in the first place, because that can be ghosting with that five of cups, wherever the hell it went. When you get the Five of Cups, that's really feeling abandoned. Really feeling abandoned. I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles. Really feeling abandoned and left out of a situation. Not a good feeling to have. All right, the Wookiee, before he went to work, said, tell you guys <laughs> that this is for somebody specific. See, he's smart. And that you're pulling, which he's right, you're pulling in. Somebody, one of you guys out there, is pulling in your ex's energy. And that's why it's taking over this damn reading. However, they're coming at you slowly wanting your attention wanting your acknowledgement but right now watching just watching you got the moon reversed here shit could have come out temperance healing working on healing but they want to be acknowledged well wow i mean we definitely do have new dating here but you got a stalemate from the past too so really stuck at stuck energy not you gotta peel if singles if you got the energy of your ex still on you you gotta peel it off because it looks like you're ignoring something okay just saying but i mean come on done 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 return attempt this can be just negative feelings that you had for this person but i'm telling you some of you, this person's just regret, remorse, and wanting to put more work into it. And it feels like you're trying to manifest that. It is just there. Still in love with that person. Hard not to be. You know, when things go sour, unless it's mutual, that doesn't happen very often. It does happen, but not very often. You could have felt like a choice. So, singles. Because those with a connection or loosely connected should know your person's sign. Doesn't mean you do, but... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius having peaked out would have been Sagittarius it's like you. We have Capricorn in here. We have Scorpio in here. I believe the magician to be all signs because it is all elements needed to have everything that you need to be resourceful. The lovers is a Gemini. There's that five of coins. So if somebody goes to you, they're really regretting it. Singles, hair font, a decent person. It does look like you're manifesting a new beginning. This is somebody bringing things up with you. So, hey, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? But it's a new chapter as well. So is the fool. Spending time with somebody, having some fun, some frolic, la, 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 la. Yeah, passion. Romance your pants off. Definitely incoming. All right, so let's see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with those cups there. Let's get a timing card. Timing source for singles first. You have slow but surely, and after a big change, and those who want the person back. You have three to four months, and it's time to reflect. Okay, and then the Wookie said you should get the foo foo dice. So we were doing the foo foo dice. We're gonna do the foo foo dice. Sagis. Fucking A, Sagittarius. That's what we have for you, and on we go. All right, Cappies, I got to share this with you. This is the anniversary deck that my beloved got us, me, <laughs> of two, for our five-year anniversary. So five years of bliss and sass. However, the fool, he completely has ruined tarot. I have to show you this because he says it's a dead pool. You see that? Yep, okay, Deadpool with his do wah diddy and everything hanging out. I had to share that with you. He slowly, <laughs> he always comes up with something, but entertaining it is. All right, if you are dealing with the elements of fire, elements of quickies, if you're dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, two more source. 
had to share that with you. He's just, he kills it sometimes. All right, this person's not going anywhere. They want your attention. They're, <laughs> they're like, no, I'm not going anywhere until I get your attention. Kind of impatient, restless. Pay attention to me, 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 me. A little on the conceited side. Ugh. They're waiting. They're like, just waiting. <laughs> They're going to continue to wait. They don't, it's almost like they don't care how long they have to wait, but wanting to put the burdens behind the two of you. So now this can be that they had left in the first place. Keep that in mind. Singles, heavy on the Aries here, but it does mean you should be meeting somebody soon when that pops out in a reading. Doesn't always happen, so I like to bring that up. But this is definitely somebody that's going, I don't give a shit how long it takes. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two more. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini. Come on. Let's see what we did get. Judgment. All right. Can be a reconciliation. Somebody come. Oh, yeah, it is. So somebody wants to come back around. Not over you. Not feeling closure. So at least wanting that. This is somebody that still has passion and drive and wants to come forward. You might ignore them. So that can be a reconciliation. But, it, you know, this is definitely somebody that's not over you. That, you know, you could have told them to take a hike, pack their shit, and vamooski, but they still feel passion. So I'm going to say I would expect that person to contact you. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. They're anticipating getting back together, okay? All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Source. Page. Now, this can be a friend. It's a very basic card. What about this person? Ooh, there's competition. So this is somebody possibly meeting through a friend or the fact that this person is like, ooh, do you have your eye on somebody else? Because I'm interested. Oh, they feel stuck. They feel competition between two. And they're like, holy crap, I better make an offer here quick. Yeah. So why they feel stuck? Cut of the deck. Because they think you've already made a choice. So it's like, uh, that's, you know, this is this friend or somebody that you friend zoned because you've got your eyeball on somebody else. They wanted to come forward. They still might. I mean, that's a card of apologies as well. So that can be somebody from your past that you friend zoned and you have your eye on somebody else. But they want to come in and, you know, hey, how you doing? Long term attention here. What do you think? I don't know. It still seems like you have passion, um, emotion. Sorry for this person. Use your intuition. The Queen of Cups always uses their intuition and uses that to hold on to her cup until she decides who deserves it. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The Moon reversed. The Wheel of Fortune. All right, one more or three. Okay. Not done. You told them to fuck off. You meant business. So this is a secret that came out. It does feel like this had been a long-term connection with the ten. There had been abundance here. It seems like they're sorry that they, they got remorse and regret. And you got the gem. <sighs> Look at this. You're telling them to just go start over. It's like, I'm starting over. You made me an option. You start over too. Things aren't going so well for them, but you told them I'm moving forward. Not so much for them good, for you good. Because if they were a cheater, and it could have been, you know, with that remorse, regret, and that jumping into something else, and then that two choices, two choices, the lovers can be a Gemini, can be a Scorpio, but this is basically saying that this is somebody you told to piss off because of instability in the connection, not interested. All right, let us get a clean deck cappies. All right, my Capricorns, look at this. Overall energy of hope. Hope and using your intuition. Having faith. So if you want your person back, it's mainly singles for Fridays, but we are doing both. If you want your person back, it looks like they still have faith in the connection. They still have emotions for you and that they might reach out soon. Singles. Oh, abundance. Mm -mm -mm. Moving forward can be a uh, travel of some sort. With the star, all the hoping and manifesting that you've been doing and the dreaming about the type of person that you want does look like it's coming to fruition. So have some faith. Be a little bit more patient because it does look like it's incoming. It can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aquarius. 
All right, let's see. Single source. Who is coming towards who is coming towards our singles? All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If we're taking the actual card itself, somebody that could be younger than you with the intent of curiosity about ooh, dating. Screw in, basically. It's smaller, eager, wild. Initiating action. Initiation to get to know you. Wanting to cuddle your brains out of your skull. Then you got the seven. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like you're a little guarded from this person. It could be because you think that they just have one thing in, in their mind. But I don't think they do. Not with temperance. That's trying to. Can be one foot in, one foot out. But not with the overall energy of the star. This is basically somebody that wants to bring down your resistance a little bit. Show you some peace. Definitely show you a piece of something else. But definitely wanting to merge. Bring things together. Nice energy. Can be a Sagittarius. Their intention. Their intention with my Scorpios. They do want to have balance. They want fairness here. There's a, This is a very sexual person. They really want your attention. How do you view this person? How will you view this person? Quite able to take care of themselves, but you're a little bit nah, nervous about the fact that they just want to be single. The Nine of Pentacles is very bachelor, bachelorette-y, but it just look like this moves forward with dating, okay? So don't be too up in your head about it. It really seems that you're concerned that this person's just a player. Doesn't mean that they're not, but it does look like this person's interested. Mutual interest, something that pays off fascination a lot of sexual attraction but two people that actually have feelings similar feelings and they do want balance cut of the deck you're gonna tell them long term or you know bust your nut elsewhere because i'm not having it happiness happiness i want something that's gonna stick around there's a lot of lust here can be a leo can be another capricorn but this is definitely you kind of putting your foot down and saying what you're not tolerating all right, those that want their person back, source. What is that person thinking? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. They don't feel like you're on the same page. They don't feel like things worked out the way they should have. One more for the three of coin. Obstacles can be selfish. They might feel that you've be, you know, uh, pulled away. Uh, can also be they're thinking about betrayal. They're pouting. So... This is somebody that can tell you anything you want to hear to try to make things work out. But they can also be extremely disappointed that it didn't work out. I'm saying they're coming in for uh, makeup sex. How do you view this person? There's your love. Okay. And there's that. And that's where we started. So I quit. That's when I feel that energy. Overall at the bottom of the deck can be a Leo singles. But this is being optimistic again. Okay. Being optimistic again. You need to get on the same page with this person or it won't work. They have to get on the same page. This is like hip hooray we're back together. But they have to get on the same page with you. Come in with an apology. You know, come in with better news than just, hey, I'm disappointed that we're not together. They need to flip this as well and actually try to get on the same page. That's great. They want to screw you. That they want makeup sex. That's nice and all fine and dandy. But they actually need to come at you with an apology. Or, I mean, it's not always them, the them, the other side of the reading that owes an apology. It isn't. But there is communication. Yes. Does it look good? Yes. Does that person still have feelings for you? Gosh, yes. Very much so. It can be travels, but this is that long-term and wanting that back. But they have to get on the same page with you. They can't just go, let's screw and everything's peachy. It doesn't work that way. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius. Don't worry so much, singles, about this person being a player. I don't see that. Yes, they can be a little bit immature when they first come around. It makes you feel a little bit defensive, but it does seem like they want fairness and they want to be generous with a connection. Um, that feeling of one foot in, one foot out, I'm saying that they do want to merge. It might not be your usual type of person, heavy Sagittarius. All right, let's get a timing card. Singles first, source. 
singles. You have January, and you also got three to four months. And those that want your person back, what do we have for that? Okay, you got three. After a hard time, worth the wait and a month or two. So they need to get on the same page with you, though. Whatever the issue had been, if you're in separation, it needs to be dealt with. All right, Cappies, that's what we have for you, and on we go. All right, Aquarius, i got to share this with you. See this card? See the head? See the head? See the head? See the head? According to the wiki, that's Deadpool. He's slowly but surely ruining. This is an anniversary deck that he got me. But according to him, the fool here looks like Deadpool. So even with his, you know, do why did he hanging out. But beautiful. This is the Mary L. You will see it again. So happy anniversary to us. It was we celebrate on Halloween. Five years and of sass, bliss, and rock and roll. So here we go. Elemental quickies. Aries Leo Sag. Aquarius is dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. He's so sassy. All right, pay attention to me. I have interest in you. I want to see where this goes. This could definitely be somebody that has money or abundance or meeting them at work. But this feels like new energy and it does look like something that pays off. Somebody that's right in the head, not whacked. Ooh, I like it. This is really powerful energy though. So this person is really in control of themselves. But they are going to make a move. Heavy on the Libra. But this is like, let's try this. Let's give it a shot. It can be with that Ten of Pentacles that you meet that person in groups of people. Okay. Let's see, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, you got a little spy already. Snake. You got a little snake. Trying to figure out what you're up to. Why? Because you've moved on, Pasta? Okay, two more. Two more. Brokenhearted. Trying to draw. Okay. So since you've been gone... All right. Seems like you just, you know, kept going, kept going, walked away, moving forward in a really good way. Uh, I feel a little bit of envy here and a little bit of wanting to possibly reconcile. They could have put you in a third party situation. That's two threes. It's underneath of that. Yeah, you're ignoring them so that you can be happier. So this is somebody that was toxic to you. No good. And you felt the need to move on. And it looks like it was probably a good decision. You judge this correctly. They might still try to get your attention and get on the same page with you, but is it a player? You know, it's really there with that third party potential. Heavy on the Scorpio as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So that's a very nice resolution between two people, but it is an ending. And they're juggling the thought of. Okay, they still have hope and faith in this. So this is not like, this is not this terrible ending. It might not have even have felt like an ending. There you go again. Justice can be a Libra, but feeling more willful, trying to get balance back, having hope in the situation. They're juggling the idea of trying to make this work. So if you're kind of in limbo, it does look like this can be something that is resolved and move forward. Yes, but you gotta, you know, you gotta work on the connection. Doesn't say that there was anybody walking away. It doesn't. It just says peaceful. Okay. This deck is a little bit different. Ten of Swords is usually like, oh, you're at the bottom up. This is more like a resolution. Tens are completion. This is kind of like a now what I'm feeling. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Swords. The Empress. Fulfillment, Abundance. Faithful. Oh, coming back around. You definitely got somebody from the past. A lot of past energy in here thus far. You could have called them out as a player, and you could have called them out as walking away as a player. Mm -hmm. High Priestess can be the hidden person. They still have emotions for you, though. Now, there can be a pregnancy that they are not happy about here as well, but they want to come back your way. Successful. You're my person. You're the reliable one. I want to come back. I they're want, you know, they're so if you get a message and I do feel you will, it's because they feel like there's more stability with you than the other person that they could have had their eyeball on. And it sure the hell looks like they did. Now, the only thing I'm going to give them is the fact that they have the balls to do so. And these two both reverse two cards of conflict reversed. 
does mean, you know, an apology potentially and trying to get back what had happened. They still have growing emotions, but that can be a pregnancy. Notice it's real close to the star. So just saying, that's an indication of pregnancy as well. They could have felt rejected and felt that you wanted them to leave, but they don't, they don't want this to be done. Okay, they don't. They want to come back. They want to show you love again. All right, I gotta stop doing that. I make these longer and longer just by digging into the elemental quickies. All right, let's see what we have with a clean deck Aquarius. All right, guys, you have the overall energy of the hangman. So singles feels like you've been waiting forever. Yeah, get a different perspective. There can be somebody coming your direction that's not your usual type, like we said. This is like... Um, brainstorming it's like where do I go to meet this person what do I do deep in thought indecisive kind of uh, a delay okay but getting out going somewhere stop holding back those who want your person back it does look like there's stability to be had here you got to be a little more compassionate to that person if you actually do want them back just saying heavy on the Leo Aries Leo Sag and Pisces so let's see what we get we're going to start with singles Fridays are mainly singles Source, who's coming towards our singles? All right, Knight of Cups. And the King of Wands. So, oh, 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 snap, Ola. Now, this can be one. Is this one or two, Source? One upright. It's two. Okay. So, you have two. So, we're making a split. Oh, here we go. So, all right. Tell us about this King of Wands. Are we interested in the King of Wands? They're not seeing this as an offer. So I think that's, yeah. They're still, you know, regretting and remorse and sad sack and got their blinders on. They're not actually seeing an offer. They're just kind of sitting indignant. This is somebody that wants to put baggage behind them and be able to move forward into a new connection. You got the, oh, I'm feeling this is mutual. I'm feeling this is mutual. So it's like somebody doesn't want an ending here. Who? Which one is it? Ugh. I feel like somebody walked away. One more for that. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is somebody that absolutely cannot stand drama. They don't want it. And then they want stability. So I'm saying cautious, cautious, caution. Because the person over here with death reversed, incidentally, could mean that they're not over their ex and they have tunnel vision. They don't want this to be done with their person, but they're looking for a nice piece of you-know-what. You know, ass. Okay. Knight of Cups wants to put the baggage behind them. We did clarify that it is two people. Okay, so you could have two people in your life or upcoming that doesn't want any drama and they just want peace. You can meet this per. Ooh, their intentions are good, too. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dating, long term, this person uses their head and their heart. They do not want any drama. This is somebody that's very, um, with the water sign, very emotional. Definitely thinks with their head and their heart. They wait. They're very patient, but they do want stability. All right. The hangman especially can be a Pisces. All right, Soros, if you want your person back, if Aquarius wants their person back, what is that person thinking? Okay, I'm sorry, I regret, and shit, we're done. There's a lot of remorse, but it does feel like this person thinks that they don't have any choice but to move on and not look back. Their actual feelings, I think they're just moving forward. This can be that they, you know, you ended it with them. They feel like you're not talking to them because they did something that was naughty. Could have been a third-party situation with the lovers right next to the devil. Not a good sign. No, this could be you seeing them get some karma, too. Will this person reach out? Will this person reach out? Uh-uh, not right now. Uh-uh, it's like they're blowing you off. They're feeling guilty. They got a time out in the naughty chair. They're not as confused as they were, but they could have treated you like an option. Can be a Virgo, but I'm saying this person was a player. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Cut of the deck, four of pentacles. It feels like you're holding your emotions back anyway from this person. You have the overall energy of strength holding back. So this person needs to get their shit together. They could have put you in a third-party situation, which caused you to go into a timeout and try to work on healing. Toxic ideas, lust, whatever the hell the case was, they need to drop it. It does look like with this, the lovers, Gemini, 
choice between two people. That is two, okay? And then the three, third party, possibly. And you could have ended it because they got busted and they are regretting this shit. But now they're getting a new perspective. So <clears throat> it's really pushing it right now. I'm going to say no. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, careful singles. There's definitely two people. One's going to be <laughs> a very bold very bold, so they might just straight out tell you, I'm not looking for anything long term. Even if you do try, don't push them because they're not going to stick around. They're not over their ex. They're just in it for a short time, okay? But Cancer Scorpio Pisces, there is one, doesn't have to be that sign, that has love intentions and kind of bosses up. So worth the wait with the hangman here can be a Pisces Scorpio Scorpio again, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then we named the others. So it's coming, but I do feel like there is a semi-player in the mix as well. All right. Let's get a timing card. Aquarius. Singles. May. Those want your person back. Time will tell. Needs more information. Mutual time to plan so it might be really pay attention singles really pay attention because i feel like you got a lulu boo boo that likes to fall into vaginas or, or fall on a penis by accident kind of sort of that uh, is coming your way i don't feel like they're going to be lying to you that they're not over their person but by the time you get to know them you might have already started catching feelings so be careful all right and the wookie said get the fufu dice out for aquarius too you have, fuck it. Yeah, I kind of feel that way too for you guys today. On we go. All right, Pisces, my cupcakes. First, I have to show you something. I want you to look real closely at this card. Do you see Deadpool? My beloved did. He bought me a couple decks for our anniversary, and he continues to screw with things. Even with the do why did he hanging out here, this is a beautiful card. <laughs> but the fool. And he says it's Deadpool, and I have to give it to him. I'm sorry, but honestly... Seriously. All right. Elemental quickies for the cupcakes. If you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I had to share that with you. It is five years, by the way, for us on Halloween. We celebrate five years of bliss and crazy ups and downs and a lot of sass. All right. This person feels that you are no longer interested in them or you feel that they're moving too slow. One more. One more, I'm nosy. Yeah, they're disappointed. So they don't want you to feel like you're an option. They also could tell you anything that you want to hear to try to get back under your good graces. They want the stability back. How do you view this? You'll think about it. This is like you got to start small person because there's a lot of disappointment in here and there could have been a time out, definitely, yes. But it's like disappointment. What are you disappointed about? They got to make up for it, all right? Or vice versa. Roles can also be reversed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Sneaking off. You got the Seven of Swords snake. Trying to get one past you. Trust issues. This can be this person trying to work up courage. No, they're done. They're not working up courage to do squat. Death. Completion. Rebirth. Nah, uh-uh. This person thinks they got one over on you. They didn't. This is somebody that you did have. They're regretting, but they're acting like a big shit. But I think they were flirting with somebody else and got busted. They don't think that you busted them. But it does look like you called their ass out on it. And with the Emperor Singles, you should be meeting somebody soon. But this is them holding their ground and being like, No, we're, we're, we're. I didn't, I didn't. And I'm going, yes, yes, you did. The Knight of Swords reverse embellishes the truth and you are regretting it, person. Whoever the hell you are, sneaky son of a bitch. We don't like it. Mm -mm. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Something good. All right. Delays. Ugh. Defensive. Still having hope. All right. So if this person in here, they're still thinking about you. If you're in a timeout and not talking to somebody and there's delays, I feel like it's more because you don't have as much faith as they do. They got karma. Here's how they still feel about you. They're still growing emotions. 
They'd put more work into it. Now it's for you to decide. They they feel like they're not getting their way. This also can feel for you like you'd have to give up a lot to be able to be happy with this person. Why? Could have been a third party, but there's a lot of hurt and you are really pissed off. So be careful. Can be an Aquarius as well. Libra and Taurus. But it does look like you put a kibosh on it for a reason. So it's something that you would definitely have to think about. But it sure the hell looks like they have more faith in it moving forward. All right. To be continued, apparently. What do we have for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns? Source. King of Wands. The Fool. Dating. Ooh. Look at that. Okay. So temperance. Spending time together. The fool, spending time together, jumping in, taking a chance. One foot in, one foot out, possibly, but it feels new, so I can't really, eh. Holding back a little bit until you know that it's not, not just passion. This can be somebody that you meet out drinking or in a gathering of people. But their intention, you know, they're mature, so they're going to be honest with you. Can just be passion, but it's new dating. It's new dating. It's taking a chance. It's Netflix chill. It's spending time. Can be a Leo. Can be an Aries. Can be a Sagittarius. Wow, heavy on the fire. But this is somebody that wants to spend time with you and want to see where things go. Or they want a reconciliation. All right. Clean deck. You guys have the overall energy of the fool. So it can be an Aries. We are mainly doing singles on Fridays. But here's what we have at the bottom of the deck. And then we're going to pick a couple up. So, singles. The overall energy for everybody. Every Pisces. You have positivity and initiation and moving forward. Happiness. Abundance. Okay? This can come through a friend or it can start small. It can start with small messaging. It can be somebody that you know through work. It can be somebody that you meet through a friend. Those that want your person back, it still seems like they're, they're holding back. They do still feel the connection with you, wanting to have that bliss back. They are still thinking about you, but it's just thoughts right now. So let's see what we get. So Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy on the Leo. All right, so singles first. The overall energy of the... Oh, don't you fall. Don't you fall. All right, can be a Virgo that's coming your direction. Tell us more about this hermit. Why is this person hermiting? Because they, they've, they're just afraid of being hurt. This person can be on the shy and quiet side. It still feels positive. You got the sun and the star now. The star at the bottom of the deck can be an Aquarius. What is this person's intention? Intention source. Four singles. Ooh. Ace of Cups. New dating. There's the damn star and the two of cups. We're going to pull it out. It's the second time it showed up. So this is somebody that's got the hots for you, but it does feel like they took a time out to learn something they are a little bit. They might come off as real rambunctious, all right, and come in real quick and want your attention. Yes, the Queen of Wands can be a little bit of an attention hole, but it's for a reason. This can be somebody that is a homebody that likes to stay home, but they have optimism moving forward. So it's almost like they want you to initiate. I feel the need to say, but it definitely is Aries Leo Sag. Heavy on the Leo, heavy on the Aquarius. So that is two people that feel the same way about each other, and it makes you feel good. A little guarded, a little afraid of being hurt. So a little, little paranoid for no reason. All right. Those who want their person back, Sorks. What do we have if we want the person back? Their thoughts from my cupcakes. All right. This card's trying to fall out. All right. Watching you. Wanting balance. This can be trying to get the courage up, getting the courage up to come in and fight for this. They feel like you're holding back right now. They do want to get on the same page with you. They do want to make a wrong right. They do want things to be balanced. can be a Libra, but this is like, I feel like in this case, the Seven of Swords is I'm trying to get the courage up. They could have stepped out of the connection in a way because they felt rejected, but that's sneaky shit nonetheless. Holding back, deception, but quietly can be getting up the courage to come in. With these two together here, quietly getting the courage to come in and try to try to get on the same page with you. I do feel like you will hear from this person. 
Yes, there is a chance of reconciliation, but right now they don't know how you feel. So I feel they are going to reach out, but it's going to be real tiny and lame. Like, hey, yeah, really? So getting on the same page. Cancer. Working things out. Working together. Could have been a third party situation. Does not have to be. You got two threes here. This is them feeling like you just are keeping your emotions inside keeping it to yourself holding it in but they could be getting up the courage to come in and talk to you and defend this the seven comes after the six the six i'll have you know is getting acknowledgement so this is somebody that wants to defend that all right but justice this is somebody that does want balance and fairness but i feel like right now they're just watching very um guarded very guarded yes kind of like uh hmm, guilty maybe possibly but <laughs> They aren't ready to take the chance yet because they might feel like you're ticked off and they could have gotten some karma with justice here. Sometimes it's nice to see, see that. I hate to say that, but it's true. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Libra. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Cancer. Heavy on the Sun, Aquarius, and Virgo. So singles, it does look like somebody's interested in moving things forward. It's just a matter of when. So let's pull out some timing cards and see if we can get an answer. All right. Okay. Source. What do we have for our cupcakes? Timing for singles. What do we got? Not soon. Ugh, not encouraging. But when needed the most. And those that want to reconcile, you have 11 to 12 months. Okay, so I'm going to say this is the 11th or 12th month, December into May. All right, the time will tell. We're going by, I'm sorry, but it's not going to be a year if we got December. Now, it can be a year in December, but I'm feeling this is more upcoming energy. All right, so let's get out the foo, -foo dice. That was our Wookiee's responsibility, but he's off to hi-ho, hi-ho, to work we go. So... For my Pisces, the foo, foo dice. We have fuck on. Actually, it's fuck no. But we can say with positivity, right? Yes. Many, many blessings. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.